A News 12 exclusive for you tonight. A little boy with a daunting diagnosis exploring New York City with his new brothers and sisters in blue. And News 12's Katie Lusso spent the entire day with him as he was sworn in by not only one, but two law enforcement agencies right here in the city. In just a matter of hours, DeVar J, a.k.a. DJ Daniel, was sworn in as an FBI agent you solemnly swear. and an NYPD officer. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. DJ is 10 years old and battling terminal cancer. Tomorrow's never promised for any of us, but for DJ, that's a fact. Since his diagnosis in 2018, he's been sworn in to more than 380 law enforcement agencies across the country, in part thanks to Freeport, Texas Police Chief Raymond Garvey. It's who we are. When you need something, you call a cop and we will be there for you. Today, thanks to Blue Lives Matter NYC, he got to add two more departments to his list. The day started at St. Patrick's Cathedral, where he lit a candle and gave out some hugs. Then a quick trip to Times Square before his first assignment at FBI headquarters in Lower Manhattan. DJ was given a polygraph test. You really want to work for the FBI? And then sworn in as an FBI agent. Him coming here, brightens the day of everybody involved. He inspires us to do better. Then it was off to the 13th precinct where he signed in, <laughs> met with the commanding officer, Lucky number 13. and then headed next door to ESU Truck One. Getting a full tour today. A quick ride around the block, a trip up into the air. Okay, now bring it down. And then a check-in on the fitness level of his brothers in blue. Oh, nice. Where it was off to one police plaza, where he checked in on some of the officers, greeted with his preferred hello, a hug. <laughs> Then he got his new uniform. This is the real deal. And then yeah. met the big boss, who swore him in as an NYPD officer. After a quick briefing, yes, I ain't gonna forget you. more hugs. His story is extraordinary for us to be a part of something this significant. We could not pass by him energized and uh, reinvigorated to do what we do. I mean, if he can come here and he can do this, then we can all step up to the plate. Next, it was off to the East River, where he held off questions from the press. Sir, do you have anything you want to say? This EPI. And checked in on the harbor unit. Even the aviation unit stopped by to say hello. Next up, the mounted unit, where DJ saddled up, went for a quick ride, met some of the other four-legged officers, before calling it a day, one DJ will never forget. These moments DJ's dad says is how they get by. Help and have them live their best life to the end. To the end. Don't give him a constant reminder. That's what I do for him. You see, he laughs, he jokes. He wants everybody to feel him. He wants everybody to know, hey, I love you so much. Give me a hug. DJ hopes to be sworn into even more departments. He's now at 387, all the while with a smile on his face. <laughs> Katie Lasso, News 12.